Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started, and uh, we're going to get our program started this morning. We have a couple of special invited speakers that are going to join me in a few minutes. Uh, my name is Douglas Hoy, and I am the president. I'm honored to be uh, uh, the president of the board of the directors of the Low Community Library Association. And the board has asked me today to become the, to be the moderator of this event and MC for the program we had this morning, which is going to be relatively short. Today is a huge milestone in the history of Aloha and for our organization. And I really thank everybody who's come here this morning to uh, celebrate with us. After my comments and reflections, we will hear from the following distinguished guests. Mountain View Middle School Principal Claudia Ruff, Washington County Cooperative Library Service Director Eva Calgino, yes. Calgano, and, <laughs> and Washington County Commissioner Dick Scout. Yes. I expect this ceremony to take roughly 30, but maybe we can do it less, we'll see. Before I go on further, I want to take a moment and thank my wife, Cheryl. Thank you. Who has been so supportive of this incredible effort that has entailed uh, for so many months. Without your support, without your support, we, I don't think I would have been able to spend so many nights and weekends um, helping, guiding others, and, and encouraging, and solving problems, and you name it. I also want to give a big thank you to our current board members, which are <laughs> Linda Hansen, Amy, Donna Trulesky, Eric Squires, uh, Gene Allison, who I don't think he's been here today. What he's, anyway? He should be. <clears throat> and Amy Grant, right here. Yay! Now, for all of their, for their tireless, tireless efforts to make today a reality, in so many ways behind the scenes, uh, being a, on a board of this kind is not your typical nonprofit experience. Uh, but has been incredibly demanding of everyone. Um, without their help, we wouldn't be here where we are today. I also want to thank Terry Palmer, our interim library director. And our newest employee, Jesse Castellanos. For their amazing efforts these past few months, Terry has done an amazing job directing the move, recent book sale, all of the countless volunteers who have participated with us. It's been great. Maxine Wald, who's not here this morning, uh, also should be recognized has been an amazing resource to us in her role managing our online uh, operations of books. She did a fantastic job last month uh, coordinating the book sale, which resulted in a proceeds over a weekend of $6,000. It's fantastic. Speaking of income, we also need to recognize the following amazing organizations who have supported us in the last year or so. These include Tripwire, Beaverton Optimist, Ezra Jack Keats Foundation, Westside Rotary Club, the Aloha Garden Club, the Cultural Coalition of Washington County, WCCLS, Beaverton Rotary Club, and District Rotary 5100, and of course the County Commissioners. So thank you all for guys. So I know many of you have been helping with this day by volunteering some way in the past uh, six months. So if you have volunteered for the old library, raise your hand right now. Yes, give yourself a hand. Thank you so much, every one of you. Betsy Buckle, thank you so much for the decorations throughout this library. Notice everything, that's Becky's touch, it's great. Uh, Barb Skillian uh, has been helpful in the design of this space, so she and Terry put that together. And of course, in case you didn't see the wonderful bulletin cards behind me, they were produced by the Optimus Club of Beaverton, and are the handiwork of Jack Franklin. Fantastic. Kathy Lipinski, owner and director of the Love and Care Learning Center, did a wonderful group of pre uh, led a wonderful group of preschoolers who provide the artwork currently on display. 
IT volunteers led by Gene, John Spitzer, Joe Calhoun, Terry Darvis, and Keith Grant. These guys reset up all the computer systems, wireless network, public access, maintain everything, and keep it up and going so we all can take it for granted. So thank you for those guys. <laughs> Randy Hack, Gene Allison, uh, Jack Franklin did an outstanding job with handyman activity during the uh, during last minute assembly of the wonderful bookcases in the DVD section behind the circulation desk. These were donated by from the Garden Home Public Library and they showed up just last Monday. <laughs> Fantastic. Gene, Joe, Keith helped assembly with these little wonderful new bookshelves you see in front of you. Uh, these were donated by Pacific University last summer. The paint on the wall was donated by Miller Paint and the painters by Walt Murs Cut No Corners Painting Service. Thank you, Walt. <laughs> A little over 18 months ago, we opened the first library just a few hundred yards from here. It has been an amazing experience to operate a community library. The community has been so supportive. Some of the interesting statistics we can report include over 2,100 area residents have signed up for a free library card. Yes. Over 31,000 books and movies have been checked out. Over 1,000 children have been served at our family story times. Over 2,500 adults and children have used our public computers to do homework, uh, search for jobs, apply for public assistance, and stay connected to family and friends. Our support by the Beaverton School District. Now, before I go into that, before I talk about Beaverton School District, I have a note that I got just this morning. It's a testimonial from one of our mentors uh, outside of this district, actually. Uh, his name is Pat Duke. Pat um, used to be a neighbor of mine. He now lives in Wilsonville. But he runs the Wilsonville Public Library, and he's been a mentor to me and others in the organization since we started. Got this note this morning. Oh, I think it would be great. Would you mind? I'm going to start crying. Okay. Doug, Terry, Board, and Volunteers, congratulations. Congratulations on opening of the new library and your pending application to WCCLS. In my 30-year career in libraries, I'm certain that I have never accomplished anything so important and difficult. To create and grow a library from scratch, to build support, and to keep your vision of changing lives for the better through your efforts is a rare achievement. People often ask me about the future of libraries, and I talk about ACLA. Oh, so. Pretty fun. Okay. Our support by the Beaverton School District has been tremendous. We have had such great success thus far, and we are hoping with the new facility, it would mark the beginning of an even larger collaboration between our local schools and us. One of the pillars in our community is Claudia Ruff, Mountain View Middle School principal. Please join me in welcoming her. Thank you very much, everyone. It's really a pleasure to be here today. I, I began my morning um, at Mountain View uh, pretty early today, um, hosting uh, Boy Scout Troop 870. Um, they were there helping us um, clean up the campus and, and plant some flowers. Uh, we've had a death in our um, community. One of our teachers passed away. So uh, as I stand in front of this wonderful board um, and the word community uh, means so much to us, um, especially today for me. Uh, with a wonderful start uh, uh, at Mountain View and then being here today. Uh, when I think about libraries, and, and, and I went into Wikipedia today uh, uh, and, and last night, um, and it, you know, it's, it, you, we often think of it, it's a collection of books and videos and computers and, and magazines, etc. But it's so much more. It's a collection of, of, of people uh, that come together around a, a common interest, books, reading, research, etc. Um, you know, um, when I look at the, at the shelves, and I was looking with some kids that um, have graduated from Mountain View and moved on, um, and we were talking about some books, and, and we were thinking it's, it's a collection of people's dreams and, and hopes, um, and, and we all get to share uh, around that uh, when we you know, check out a book here from the library. It, it's a place where kids and adults can, can dream and, and visit places in, 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 in print and on the internet, et cetera, plan vacations, or, or, or just look to see uh, what's out there beyond our community. Um, also for Mountain View, uh, we see a student of ours is videotaping right here. He's been volunteering. Uh, there he is. Um, 
we are uh, going to um, be sending him on to Aloha High School next year. And I remember him when he was yay big uh, in, in sixth grade and in fifth grade when he came to visit. Uh, so this has provided an opportunity for him to volunteer, of an opportunity for many of our students to volunteer, make connections, etc. Anyhow, I just wanted to congratulate you and to move into this wonderful space and, and the connections that we're making together and, and hopefully we can grow in our partnership. And uh, thank you for the opportunity to come and visit with you today. Thank you. Thank you. Claudia. In addition to the schools, we have also had a great deal of support from the library community in Washington County. Peter Leonard, Executive Director of the Cedar Mill Public Library, has been designated to be our mentor, and the Cedar Mill Library is our mentor library. It has been a tremendous uh, resource for us to be able to tap that and not only talk to staff about accounting, about procedures for book processing, you name it, you name the gamut of things that we've talked to them about. Um, it's just been fantastic. Um, and also the other librarians in the county, we tap regularly. It's just a very open, easy to work with community, um, which for a startup is really important to have kind of mentors and resources. However, this morning we have on hand um, Eva Camino, who is the executive director of the Washington County Cooperative Library Service, and Eva is right at the top of this whole thing. So she's been extremely supportive, and we very much appreciate um, what she's done for what we've done up to this point. We look forward to the day when we'll become a member, because um, next Thursday, we file our application to become a member of the Washington County Cooperative Library Service. So Eva, is coming. Thank you, Eric. Terry told me that the theme for this move and, and today's celebration was working together, and that's a perfect motto for the libraries in Washington County. In fact, our mission statement is, the libraries in Washington County work together in a spirit of cooperation that goes beyond local boundaries in order to provide excellent countywide library service to every resident. <laughs> The Washington County Cooperative Library Services really supports Aloha Community Library's development, and we look forward um, to the day when Aloha is a full member of WCCLS and able to share materials with our other libraries and participate fully in countywide programs and services. And we look forward to the day when WCCLS patrons can check out Aloha Library materials too. Yes. <laughs> Our motto is connecting people, books, and resources, and that I think really uh, summarizes what a public library is. And we look forward to connecting Aloha Library to our system in 2016. Um, WCCLS member libraries have supported Aloha Library, as Doug said, with advice, mentorship, encouragement, donated materials, donated shelving and furniture, and much more. And WCCLS was pleased to be able to include Aloha in our countywide storytelling festival, The Art of the Story, uh, which included a performance here last night. And if you missed it and you still have an opportunity, there are more today, this afternoon and this evening, so ask me. Uh, Aloha Library has made incredible progress in just a few short years, um, and it has taken the effort of numerous uh, community volunteers to move from a concept to a functioning library open 37 hours a week. That's amazing. Um, ACLA has done a remarkable job in planning and fundraising, but most of you know that this library cannot be sustained by donations and grants alone. A fully functioning public library um, serving a community of this size requires government support to assure free, open, and reliable access for the residents. And as WCCLS approaches our next levy funding cycle, we are including ALOA in our planning process, and we expect to ask voters in November 2015, commissioner's permission granted, to renew and increase countywide library funding. And being able to provide county funding for ALOA library operations is contingent on the passage of our next levy uh, at that time, and we look forward uh, to your help in assuring that goal and assuring the future of ALOA library. Thank you, Eva. And just as a reminder, our application is due next week, 
They will process it for a while. We'll get the word out, hopefully in the next month or so. I don't think there's a deadline on that. But then it takes about 18 months for lots of planning to happen before the levy happens in November of 2015. If the levy passes, the income to us will come in the fall or the summer of 2016. So we have about two years to sustain ourselves as we are now, to continue to do what we are doing and to grow just the way we have. Now, our next speaker uh, has been a tremendous um, supporter since the beginning. I mean, I remember when we were meeting in the pepper mill with a handful of people, Commissioner Dick Scout was there with us, and that was three years ago. So please welcome me. Dick Scout. Okay. Well, thank you, everyone. Uh, first of all, let's, let's all give each other a great hand because uh, this has been a huge effort, and I just want to salute all of you. I just, I just can't talk to you. Um, you know, I've, in, in the time I've been on the county commission and in the years before that, involved in neighborhood politics, and uh, I got involved and have seen firsthand or pretty close secondhand some incredible community organizing work has done some amazing things. But of all the things that I've seen, and that includes saving key pieces of the nature park, the Twelve Hills Nature Park, uh, some major work uh, on, on, a, on a number of fronts all around the county, this one is, is as impressive, in fact, the most impressive effort that I've ever seen in terms of the risk taking, in terms of the work that's been done, the laser focus of, of the leadership, Doug and, and your board, has really just been an amazing thing. And I'm just, I'm just so proud to be part of it. And I have to say that by working together, it makes it easier for us on our board and easier for me to go out and talk to my colleagues and other people in the community and say, you know, these people are doing fantastic things. We need to help them, and they, and they really deserve that help. So this is partly how we got the $15,000 initially from our chair and from myself. Uh, some funds that are set aside for architect work in terms of what the next library beyond this one will, will look like. And beyond that, we know at some point there's going to be a capital program to build a really li a, a good sized library to really serve 50,000 people. And I, I don't know if you know, the board has already committed $100,000 towards that. And so I want you to know that there is significant uh, dollars in the wings waiting for you and has already been committed and it's, and it's in large part because we've been so impressed and I've been so impressed with all the work that you've done. It really just makes it, it, just, it, it, just makes it great and it makes it easy uh, to, to go out and look for further help. And I, uh, I feel very confident uh, that, uh, that Eva and her group is going to see their way to include uh, you in, in the measure. I think it's a, it's a long overdue, frankly a little bit of an, of, of an injustice that's going to be rectified because you've all been paying into it. So I'm looking forward to the, to the time that not only you're paying into it, but you're getting back into it in terms of the ongoing operation and maintenance of this library. Because over time, uh, as much as you've done, as great work as you've done, um, it's not fair to ask this to go on forever. At some point, we have to say, hey, the public needs to pick this up like they pick up all the other libraries. Um, hopefully that time will come soon, but I'm very confident that uh, the next critical couple of years, we're going to all come through this with flying colors. And again, I congratulate all of us for the fantastic work. And the library just looks fantastic. The yes. paint job, all these books that are, that are being used for decoration, the bookcasing, everything that's come together, it just, it feels very comfortable and very, um, just home-like. And so uh, I feel like we've come home to this library and uh, working together, we're gonna, we're gonna have some great days yet ahead of us. So thank you so much. Okay, we're almost done. Thank you for your patience this morning. Uh, thank you for your words, Dick, and I appreciate those very much. Before we wrap up, uh, I'd like to make a special announcement. Starting this weekend, we are kicking off our spring fundraising campaign. <laughs> because of several very generous donors, we are able to, um, who are actually giving us a challenge grant of $15,000. That's the largest um, challenge grant we've received so far to date. What that means is, if we can raise $15,000 through private donations over the next six weeks, we will get an equal match of $15,000 to raise a total of 30000 
Now that's a big challenge for us. The last similar campaign we did last fall and the one in the spring before that was only 10,000. So this is a big step. But I can tell you, very happy to tell you because of Amy's um, work this morning in gathering checks that have been already received, donations that were made uh, through PayPal in the last few days, um, people beginning to word out, we made some announcements at last night's events. The total this morning that's been received is $5,985. Yeah, on our way. If you wish to make a donation yourself, you haven't done that yet, you can see Amy and myself afterwards. We have donation, yes, we have donation envelopes at the front. You can also go to our website. Well, easy ways to make that happen. And there's a tree up front. So look at the interesting uh, artwork on the front window. That is going to be our sort of tracking progress. We're going to show as we make progress towards our goal of 15,000, we will have a branch attached to each of the major increments. So it's kind of exciting. Great so job on. Yes, you do. Becky, thank you for that tree. And yes, we get to add some more uh, strings today. So um, I think that's, uh, that's it for now. You can um, hang around. We've got the balloon man just showed up a few minutes ago, so the kids will look forward to that. There's cookies here. And uh, Ellen's going to be doing some guitar playing. I think that's understand. Ellen McKinnon is going to be uh, helping us this morning with some guitar playing. So thank you again for coming this morning and, uh, and participating with us. And thank you for your support. Thank you, Doug.
Make a baby and head out. Okay. 